Good evening all. Today we are to we will talk about a very interesting topic and a topic that actually affect many people from my friends and affect me personally as well as some of uh, our friends around the world and how they perceive the Palestinian identity. So anyone who holds a Palestinian identity and you can have a multiple identities. I, I am one of the believers of having multiple identities where you can be, uh, let me say you ha can have a country based identity or maybe you have a several country identities, maybe you have a global identities, but I will talk about the Palestinian identity. So for the people who hold the Palestinian identity, and usually they are coming from Palestinian roots or they uh, strongly believe in the just cause of the Palestinian cause. And these kinds of people have a special kind of feature. One of the first feature they have that they strongly believe in justice. They strongly believe that Palestinians one day will be able to get their land back and they will be able to uh, live peacefully with the world around them and as they already in a very peaceful situation but they would be uh, they will they believe that they would be able to uh, defeat the occupier defeat the oppressor defeat the current apartheid state of israel whether it was with peace or without peace it's about the concept of resistance is about that uh, we strongly believe that uh, israel in its current form is an aggressive state they have uh, many aggressive acts so for example 15 people were killed yesterday as a re result of a peaceful protest and we see this with the settlements we see this with uh, uh let me say with the checkpoints with with the we see this with the separation wall uh, we see this with israel as a, an occupier of palestine and this uh, if, no matter what you try to describe Israel, it will you should you will always be able to describe it as an aggressive state. Whatever the solution you believe in for the cause, whatever the kind of uh, agenda you believe in, Israel will always be based on all merits an aggressive state. It will always be a, a state that is using imbalance, uh, imbalance. Uh, uh, like, uh, like excess, uh, it will always be a, a state that is using excessive power against civilians. Now, coming back to the Palestinian identity, so the Palestinian always believe that justice one day will happen, and this justice will be will affect his current situation and his control over his land. It will affect the way he uh, live and it will affect the generation after him so the Belize, that's the first part he strongly believe in justice so he also believe that he 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 strongly believe of resistance of the oppressor so he does not accept injustice he will not accept any equation in life that does not seem fair because and he will always resist any person, any tyrant, any person who is trying to uh, apply power or apply his power instead of principles and dialogue, instead of communication, and try to push his interests with power. So this is in his life as well as in in his political cause. And now I am talking about the general identity of Palestinians. They strongly believe in justice. They strongly believe in fairness they strongly believe in resistance against the oppressor the other thing they believe in they have a great determination so uh, uh, no matter what happens in in their life they always believe that they have to be determined because justice eventually will happen they devote their life for a particular cause they devote their life to talk about their cause they devote their life to uh, uh, it, co it could be a noble cause they are devoted, they are dedicated, they are always willing uh, to work hard to prove themselves, to, to stand uh, on, a, on the same base with other, with other citizens of the world as they believe it's their right to be treated 
on an equal foot with others. So you will always see that no matter what are the circumstances they are coming from, no matter what are the situation they have been put into, they are always keen to dedicate and devote their lives and try to achieve more, to be able to show the others that they are also an achievers, that in spite of all of the, the circumstances, in spite of all of the injustice, in spite of and the oppressor in, sp in spite of the occupier in, sp uh, in spite of all of these conspiracies to push other people interest they will always resist and show that they can still compete on a global level that they are they can still be productive they can still be a, a good example for the others and with that definitely Palestinians give hopes to so many nations and they inspire so many uh, novels and so many uh, uh, literature work because the way uh, people live in a continuous state of dedication and determination to uh, achieve justice in spite of the in spite of the equation of power is something that is adorable by many nations and definitely we see we have a lot of people who think that the Palestinians are under huge suffering and they deserve more from uh, from life. The fourth thing that uh, they uh, the Palestinian identity uh, consists of is hope. So they are always looking for justice. They will always resist an oppressor. They uh, I'm talking about general identity, and they will always. Uh, if I may say, they will always be dedicated and devoted. And maybe this is an exaggeration, but maybe this is the ideal Palestinian character. And the fourth thing is they will always try to find hope. They will find hope in their children. They will find hope in their uh, society. They will find hope in the talents around them. They will find hope in good news around the world. They will find hope in any... In, in any uh, positive news or in any positive incident that happened in their life to show that yes, there is a way, yes, there is a, uh, our will is uh, our will and efforts are not worst, wasted. We always see hope along the way. And with that, I would strongly believe no matter what are the political end results, Palestinians will always understand their history, no matter what they, what, no, no matter how pragmatic they become. It's part of their identity to believe strongly in justice and to understand that what they have been through in terms of occupation is by the lowest description can be described as a being subjected to serious level of aggression and no matter where are you from if you just look at the behavior of the state of israel and sometimes this can be extended to the behavior of the citizens of israel and this is where we see we see things a, a little bit dangerous we see there is a great level of aggressiveness and by all means describing Israel as an aggressive state is an absolute true that has been said there these are four elements that I can talk about uh, the Palestinian identity that was my talk for today I will wish you a great evening and I will see you tomorrow 8 30 I meant 8 45 or around 8 45 p.m. Amman time apologies for the delay today and we hope to see you soon. See you tomorrow. Take care.